little to increase your damage other than just bumping up your strength. You said doo doo. This music fits so well. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually really chill. Can you restart it? Restart it? But we're yeah. talking about how good it is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I gotta fuck it up for you. Heathcliff, you got your sirenscape open? No. Do, do you not do that? I usually do. I just didn't have it open because I was too busy creating characters and shit. I'm opening it now. All right, it's open. Hmm. Another thing. A little bit jazzy. In your um, when you go to your main tab, underneath where it says like race and age and stuff, um, uh, that'd be a good spot to put it. Yeah, put your um, element. Oh. Oh, I gotta actually think of an element, don't I? Yeah. Um, what is it again? Void. Strand. <laughs> <laughs> it's a void, solar, and arc. I'm gonna do solar. I guess I'll do void. I'm okay. Solar fits too well with my build, not too. <laughs> void fits too well with my build, but we can have more than one void. Yeah, no, you, you can. can go. Yeah. Uh, where are we putting it? Uh, if you click on the main tab on the right, uh, right underneath, underneath your race. race and age and stuff. Okay. My age is timeless. My gender is void. <laughs> 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 gender, void. gender, void where prohibited. <laughs> <laughs> and did you make a ghost NPC for us or no? No, I'm gonna I'm do what um I said. One ghost for each of you, and yeah, one ghost for each of us, or one ghost for all. Oh, three? one ghost for all three. Okay. His name is Imar. <laughs> Better not be. <laughs> <laughs> and if he is, you better change it. You're going to have to use that other voice that you're using. Guardian. <laughs> Get up, you lousy slobs. This is First Ghost Maru. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what I get to do, though? Let me do this. Doom, doom, doom. There we go. I'm actually getting cold. What the hell? Uh, it might be because it's fucking 35 <laughs> degrees outside. Right. Maybe. It was like a slight mist in the air this morning when I dropped off the boys to school. Or when I took them like walking outside to the bus stop. I was in shorts and a tank top. Okay. <laughs> Kids are wrapped up like three or four layers. <laughs> I'm just sitting out there, just chilling. This guy.
Maybe a little less robotic and it'll be perfect. <laughs> and we're gonna take it down to like this, I think. Okay. Yeah, how's that? Has like a nice like little it. bit of its wing to it. Or should I, I like add it. like background sound back to it? I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that type of shit. See, now I can just say, all right, so I walk in and I look him in the face and I say, I don't think that you should do that. <laughs> so then now there's a, there's a distinct difference between me. Like one of my favorite things I did as Crow so far. <laughs> You switch on the voice mod when he's raging. It's just so weird trying to tune this in. How did you get your own picture in there? Was that like a yeah, your voice is really, really quiet, so I barely heard whatever that was. Was that a default picture in Fantasy Grounds, or did you upload that? I uploaded that. How the fuck are you uploading pictures? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know how to upload fix pictures? Not as a player, I don't. <laughs> you you click on your portrait. Uh-huh. And then you go to folder. You click uh -huh. on folder. Any picture you put in that folder, next time you go to click on your portrait and then hit refresh, it'll appear in your data packet. Motherfucker. I did not know it would let me do it that way. Yeah. You gotta, after the next, so you put it in that folder, the next time you click on it, you're gonna have to hit the refresh, hit the refresh button. Yeah, you got it already, yeah. They look so stupid, though, because they're so not the right proportion. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. You got to, like, look up the right pixel count to do the shit. And... You got to look at the right pixel count. You just got to make it square. Yeah. You got to get too fancy with it. It's just they don't allow you to, like, zoom in and shit like you like I would normally do if I were to do this. Uh, we got one minute and uh, 12 seconds left, just so everybody knows. I should open the stream to see what the bloody hell is going on. You gotta do all that if you don't want to. Um. work if I hold this like this? I mean, I hear yeah. you, but you sound normal. So I don't yeah, know if you were trying to do a voice mod thing, it didn't go through. Okay, I, I, I wanted to see if I could bind it to um, to my mouse button and you cannot. <clears throat> That's fine. I'll just manually manual flip it over. Alright, let's flip this over here. Um, hey, that's pretty. I don't care. Arkson, go ahead. It's fakely horrifying. Me? Yeah, yeah. You're the, you're the DM. What do you mean? It's all you. Take it away. <laughs> I don't even got this shit opened up yet. Oh, uh. <laughs> this, this is kind of horrifying. <laughs> That's thanks. I wanted to share this stuff with you. Um. Oh, when I minimize it, my camera starts just going slow as shit. All right, we won't minimize it then. Wow, that's really bad Freaking, when I do that. If I can uh, share this to the Discord with no context. 
Megan. All right, so I guess seems how Sin don't want to do this. I'll do this. Hi, everybody. You do your part. I'll do mine. <laughs> My part, I'm a player, bro. My part is to play. Your, my part is. Yes, but this is your stream. Do your streams part. I'll do the DMs stream. part. Um, so, uh, hi, everybody. Um, we are going to do a, uh, I don't want to call it a one shot. Uh, I'm going to call it a limited engagement series. Um, Whenever we get a break in the normal campaign or if anything comes up where everybody can't make it, we may pivot over to something like this. Um, and this is inspired by the world of destiny, as you can see on the screen here. Um, and this is the brainchild of sin. What side are we on this side? Sin's on this side. When I do this, it's the brainchild of sin who, uh, who has been wanting to run something like this for a while. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and other than managing the stream and whatnot, uh, I will let uh, Sin take it away. Yeah, yeah. Like Cliff said, this is going to take place in the world of Destiny before any of the games, before most of the lore books. This is going to be pre-Red War, pre-Iron Lords. This is right after the collapse. So, starting off, let's jump into it. So, the scene starts with us looking over this war-torn planet of Earth. For the past few hundred years, the planet has been in a state of chaos with people turning on each other for the re uh, few resources. Uh, they have left uh, hiding and filling, fending off one, two, three new alien races that have appeared on the planet at the start of the collapse. Nowadays, after a few hundred years past the initial collapse, uh, the sounds of war and gunshot have grown quiet aside for maybe the occasional scrap out on the streets there are pockets of humanity that are struggling to survive and the alien race has taken most major cities and turned them into their own private scrapyard in order to build up weaponry forces uh for who knows what we see this happening where our story takes place in the swampy overgrown streets of chicago streets are quiet here with only the sounds of frogs bugs and the occasional splash of water under something's feet plants foliage and milky water have completely overtaken this once large sprawling city that now lies in ruins only a handful of buildings still stand but a lot are unstable and most can be found laying across the ground from collapsing we look over to one of the buildings still standing though Vines and moss climbing up a quarter of the height of this 15-story building. A few windows shattered here and there, but the structure mostly intact um, compared to the surrounding area. On the top floor of the building, we zoom in to this loft. This room, this house, looks like it was barricaded. Um, not recently, though. There's a large layer of dust and grime in the air but we see lots of bodies scattered on the ground here lifeless and all but decomposed a small robot like figure flies into the window and starts scanning the bodies one by one it's looking in every little crack and crevice and eventually flies to the center of the room and emits this white pulse of energy. After a few seconds, one of the bodies starts twitching, rising, and no decomposition, no wounds. Um, we see Cliff's character stand up. So Cliff, if you want to describe yourself. 
Yeah. Um, so you see uh, this metallic structured uh, robot um, kind of sit up and just for a second, just pause. Um, the normally all white um, exo skeleton just covered uh, in dust and uh, just signs of uh, just non-movement for who knows how long at this point. Um, he's wearing uh, a leather bomber jacket um, and sticking out of the pocket of it is a picture um, and then just uh, some some scruffy jeans underneath um, but his shape kind of uh, hints to the illusion of something going on underneath just the regular street clothes that you don't really see. Um, and he stands up and he just surveys uh, just the bodies that are on the ground. Um, as he notices this, this thing that's just sort of floating there with the light coming off of it. And... He doesn't feel fear from it, but there's confusion. And he looks down at himself and he looks at it and he says, Did you do this? Yes, but take it easy. And you can't understand it. <laughs> not, not at all. <laughs> no, you, you, didn't, you didn't do the British voice at all. This one was. <laughs> I did. I did this. <laughs> this one wasn't the British voice. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> so the ghost um scans the area and it says, "Take it easy. You've been resting for a while. It's not safe here." But there are others that match your light signature in this building. We have to go find them before we can move on. Light signature. I'll explain on the way. There's one directly underneath us. Um, it he he kind of cautiously nods, and uh, as the robot spins to go out, he stops for a second. And just sort of instinctively, my gaze turns to the right and I walk over to a table that's there. Um, and uh, amongst like the debris and dust that's on this table, um, there's this large cylindrical object uh, and I just brush a layer of dirt off of it. Um, and I just pick up a uh, bazooka off of the table <laughs> and um I'll trend. swing the leather strap on my back and I follow this device mm, the ghost the thing pauses in the air and as it's looking at you, it says, let's try not to make too much noise just yet. Then it turns through the hallway. It floats over to, towards your shoulder and a light flickers on so you can see through here. All right. So I'm going to, as stealthily as I can, follow this thing. And... It takes you through this um, dirty, uh, almost falling apart hallway. And after going down 
to where the um, stairs are. It wait for you. Uh, cautiously walking by, like, you know, heeding every step, this decrepit building. Um, and I follow behind, yeah. And if you open the door and continue down the path it's taken you, it says while you're walking. You're probably not going to remember most of what's going on. But humanity is on the losing side of a war right now. The only thing we had fighting back created me with its dying breath to go find people like you and the acquaintances we're searching out to help defend. I'll explain more when we find the others. I feel like we're always fighting a war. And then it flies over to one of the rooms. Uh, blue light starts scanning up and down the door. Looks over at you. He's in here. Um, and sort of walk over to the doorway and just put my hand on the on the frame and just peek in. Uh, from the light going in there, does it? highlight anything or is it just sort of illuminating the whole area um not really the entire area uh give me a notice roll uh for the most part you can see that it's um kind of in the same layout as the room that you woke up in um not really as well fortified as yours um, but you look in, you don't really see anyone up and about moving around. Whatever it is you're seeing, little friend, I'm not seeing it. Open the door. Click. And he flies in after... A minute or two of scanning around he flies over into one of the corners and that same pulse of white light that you woke up to he emits again and one of the bodies in the corner starts twitching and slowly rises and here we see john's character Um, his eyes open, blinks a few times, and then he kind of gets up into a ready stance, like he's ready to attack. He's just blue. He looks humanoid, but his skin is kind of translucent and this blue hue and uh, no hair whatsoever. And his eyes seem to be like kind of constantly swirling with some sort of power or energy or something can't really tell um but he just kind of looks at you too inquisitively um oh as far as his gear he's got uh his suit looks like both tactical and like it's alien but you can tell like it looks more like top tier like like it's it looks like nothing cheap i would say um like he worked for maybe somebody important and there is a uh purple badge on his chest um but yeah he just stands there looking at you and he's what is this don't get up so fast you've been asleep for a while take some time to adjust yourself what 
it's who's in charge here I guess both of you um, what are you I'm a ghost created by the traveler sent out to bring people like you two back and help defend he uh pulls this cloth off of the ground and just kind of tosses it out and there's this really long sniper rifle he picks it up and then he just kind of puts it on his back what's the mission two already looking capable Let's see I made the right choice there's one other in this building bottom okay. floor no one else in this room no mm. bends down kind of rifles through some of the things that are there um pulls out a double barrel shotgun uh and a pack of cigarettes um and then uh he uh kind of puts the double barrel in his waistline um and he starts looking around a little bit more and then he sort of like leans up and looks at the other person in this area and goes you wouldn't happen to have a light would you he just holds up the cigarettes uh i have access to the light Is that what you mean? Opens up the pack of cigarette, pulls one out, puts it in his mouth. Never mind. And as you two are talking, you hear um, a few splashes hit the water from below. Check. How how much would um would I know about the surrounding area that we're in in its current condition? Current? Yes. Oh. Or like you know, quasi current. <laughs> um, probably a good enough. Not. So in this building, probably not much knowledge, but in the city area that we're in, you probably know where we are. Okay. Um, and from the noise, uh, can I make out like, ob obviously, uh, if we hear splashing about something's moving in the water, um, can I make out roughly like how many things I hear? How many beings, creatures, things are moving about? So when you both go over to one of the windows and look out, um, Jantos, you don't really see anything except for like the trail end of a leg and maybe like a cape as they run underneath one of the adjacent buildings. Um, Barnes, you can, as you go and you focus more on listening, uh, it sounds like more than a handful, maybe five or more. And do they appear to be heading in like our direction, like in the same building that we're in or? No, it looks like they're heading um, away. Um, 
I kind of turn and look at the 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 ghost. You might want to keep that light a little dimmer. We got and it's a flashlight that it had on turns off. Looks like a scouting party, probably out for resources. Let's try to th keep things quiet until we get everyone. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out the double barrel, open it, make sure it's got shells in it, close it, um, look around for any other like ammo that may be in the uh, the vicinity, um, and then I'll just look at you and say, "F keep this out just in case." Um, Gentle Segover. He moves this big wooden board off to the side. He says, ah, yes, there it is. There's this huge sword that he picks up. And he's like, all right, ready for duty. <laughs> After seeing him pull out a sniper rifle out of nowhere and a sword out of nowhere, <laughs> I want to survey this room to see if there's anything else of interest in here. Um, from the pieces of ammo that you already um, pulled off of the ground, uh, there's not much in here that's really looks like it could be of use. They're like um, when you were brought up, and when uh, Jantos were brought up, it looks like your belongings, as in your clothes and stuff too, were um treated the same way as your bodies when they were revived with a five do i find a lighter <laughs> yeah, i'd say you can find a lighter perfect uh no then i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna light up the cigarette um and it just sort of it's just in my mouth burning slow uh you don't ever see me hit the cigarette it's just in my mouth and burning slow. The ghost looks at both of you, like dips down and up in a nodding motion and says, the last one's on the bottom floor. Starts heading in the direction of the door. I'm gonna turn and look back at uh, my my new partner here, and I'm just gonna like put my finger over my mouth and shh, and then I'm just gonna turn and continue to walk as quiet. I'm, I think I'm being quiet. <laughs> you both are doing great. Yeah, he nods. <laughs> and he starts following you exactly like you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> we think we're being great. Yeah. Um, so, uh, as we're walking, I'm just going to kind of super quietly, like whisper, like, cause we're stealthy. So good. Um, <laughs> turn around, <laughs> turn over my shoulder. So did you serve? He looks down and he like touches his badge and he's like, I think so. It's built into your instincts. Once you learn these skills, they never truly go away. Yes, sir. I'll use my instincts. <laughs> <laughs> you see his brow furrow a little bit. <laughs> Just turns around, keeps following. And as you go downstairs into hallways, um, the ghost doesn't really pay any mind to any of the bodies or the um, rooms that you pass by. So if you guys aren't stopping, he's going to go straight to the bottom floor. 
um, I'm gonna keep my eye out if uh, for anything that that sort of jumps out at me as far as if it's something that appears to be interesting um, or just drastically out of place um, or uh, if I see any movement or anything that's gonna catch my eye that's immediately what I'm looking for but um, as we're walking I say so do you have the ability to bring everyone in here back No, not everyone. Only those that match my each of your light signature. Could there be more than just a three? There could be. It's rare. It's amazing that I found you all in the same place. I don't believe in coincidence. And as we're talking and we pass by one of the rooms on the lower floor, you peek in for a second and you see the skeletal remains of this large four armed creature. Uh, is this something that I would have any capability of having seen before? You personally, probably not. Okay. Then I won't even roll common knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, so walking mm -hmm. and I like stop mid-step. If you stop, then Jantos looks over in the same direction. You know that this is a um, fallen captain. What is that? Fallen captain, sir. Not sure which faction he belonged to. Well, if he's a captain, can we get anything useful from him ghost to you scan his memories or anything not his memories and the ghost flies into the room and his blue lights starts flickering over this corpse And after about a minute of scanning this thing, um, you see uh, the ghost like nudge over one of the arms and one of the sabers that the captain used is um, in decent condition. Um... How how do you point this out? Do you just say it or? <laughs> <laughs> like does it just start um, hovering or like do you just say like look at this or? Uh, he after he moves the arm, he um is floating around it and scanning this one area, and he says, "I think I found something here." Not. Uh, information but it may prove useful um i mean seeing as this guy with me already grabbed a sword i'm gonna grab it so i can <laughs> kind of look cool too um so i'll pick it up and um does it have any buttons or anything on it like how how does it work uh you do see a button and if you try to interact with it it doesn't really seem to trigger anything uh, right now it looks broke yes 
could be repaired, but a sword's still a sword. Turns, looks back at, <laughs> at this guy with his sword. A sword still a sword. Indeed. It suits you. What what am I adding to my inventory here? A short sword. Okay. It's funny, I actually put a short sword back, so. <laughs> Take it, give it a few twirls, check the balance of it almost. Not like one of not. our years before. Yeah, the um, holster, the grip for it doesn't fit comfortably. Um, did he have a sheath or anything? Like, what was this in? Uh, it. As you picked it up, you seen some kind of fabric and stuff tear off of it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then, uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to sort of look at him and, and close my eyes for a second, nod. Um, and then I'm going to turn and look to you for direction. does this like nodding motion again and turns to the door right, let's continue and then it'll make its way all the way down to the first floor he's like I'm, I'm waiting to see if you like stop by any doors again that you need open um, after we get into like this stairwell there's not much, it's just around until some of the stairs are broken, then it goes into a different path, but it's mainly a clear path all the way down. Okay. And when it gets to the bottom floor, it starts doing its thing, scanning the areas room by room, and eventually it makes its way right to the uh, front doors of the building. and. From there, it does its white pulse again, and the same thing, um, body nearby starts twitching. Um, you see some of the mangled clothes and stuff reform, and a body arises, and here we find Heathcliff's character. Alright. A... All matte black very basic exo stands up it almost looks like an actual exoskeleton instead of you know an exo um wearing some kind of dark green clothing with just pockets all over it they don't look like they have much in it but pockets all over it as he stands up he pauses part way into pulling himself up reaches beneath some rubble and pulls out well, it's almost like he gets caught on the rubble and he pulls a uh, strap from his arm and tugs on the strap and pulls a rifle out from under the uh, rubble it looks like some type of you know assault rifle of some sort with a big spike on the front He looks up and looks toward you guys and kind of cocks his head questioningly. I just look over my shoulder at the Awoken and just kind of quietly like... I think our ghost has a type. I think so. Type that likes weapons. Before the ghost gets a chance to say anything, <laughs> I'm just gonna hold my hand up at the other Axo and say, "Don't move too fast." 
You've been asleep for a long time. <laughs> Ghost like turns oh. slightly in the air. <laughs> <laughs> he um grabs a cylinder off the ground and attaches it to his belt and then kind of fully stands up the rest of the way and just gives you a nod. Just turn and look at the ghost. Well, go on. The ghost near the entrance um, does a quick scan of the area, not actually scanning but looking around and then flies deeper into the center of the building now that you're all awake i can explain each of you have been dead for 100 200 something years may take some time to get adjusted to your bodies again but there was a war going on on this planet and this being called the traveler came to help a few of the other alien races came soon afterwards looking to take and snare do something with it and with it they brought the darkness along with them during the battle between the light and the darkness the traveler fell off the darkness it left the solar system but it cost it its life and in the traveler's dying breaths made us ghost we have been looking for people to take the place of the traveler to fight for humanity and as of now no ghost have found any capable worthy people but I finally found you three. You all seem capable. We are humanity's hope. You were brought back to defend. Defend humanity, defend the traveler each other whichever your heart pulls towards so we need to get everyone well equipped you all seem to have firearms already but once we're set and ready to travel we need to make our way towards the traveler and it stares out the window in a um, certain direction I'm gonna try to follow its gaze it doesn't look like it's looking at anything in particular, just in a direction. Looking out the window, what do I see? From the bottom floor, um, you notice lots of um, growth climbing up the sides of the buildings. No real movement anywhere. Um, the water is 
uh, up to your knees in some places and up to your ankles and others as you move around on the ground and you can't really tell the time of day because of the mist and fog that's in the air you can't tell where the fog ends and the sky begins it's just all a haze at the moment Well, I know recall anything in this area for a while even here. So I guess my affairs are in a line. Turns around, looks at the other ones. And about you two. Do we have access to a ship, sir? Bossy well, looks around and kind of shrugs. The ghost um, flies over towards the rest of the group. Most ships have been unserviceable for the past hundred years. The only working ones are from the Fallen. Like the four-armed guy we've seen back there? Yes, but the scarier moving ones that will attack you. Basio holds up his weapon. I don't know if a full on assault right away is the right move. So, we get knocked down. Do you pick us back up? If you get hurt, if something manages to kill you. If you guys get separated and need to talk to each other, that's where I come in to help. Yes. <laughs> so, the way I see it, you have three armed immortals what really do we have to be afraid of if you go down I can't immediately bring you back it takes time and I make myself vulnerable while I do it if they get to me, then that cuts off your connection to the light. What happens if that connection gets severed? Then you're like a battery that slowly drains of its energy over time until you break. Uh, at this point, the cigarette is basically burned down to just ashes on his lip. <laughs> um, so he takes it out, flicks it, puts another one in and lights it. So, what's the next move? Shelter? place you can 
sit back, learn of your new gifts. Gifts. Like I said, you have a connection to the light now. It's not just coming back from the dead. You have the light within you that you can harness. What exactly does that mean? That lighter thing. the fire from it you can pull from the light you can and he um flies over and nudges the uh saber you can probably bypass the initial button on this and ignite it with arc energy anything gets near you you can devour it use its own matter to fuel yourself with void energy you just need to find your connection to the light He like takes a lighter and he just lights it a few times trying to figure out what you're saying. Basio is freaking reenacting scenes from the original Spider-Man movie with his hands trying to get stuff to happen. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> Can you not point that this way in case whatever it is you're trying to do works? He'll point his hands in a different direction and still just kind of make random finger motions that don't do anything. And if you want to try to tap into the light, you can make a roll. Spell casting. It'll be light. Uh, you should have yeah. for the light. Roll the <laughs> light. <laughs> Lassio got a seven on his D4. I told yeah, you to point and... that shit other ways. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're um, moving your hands and doing these motions, um, in between both of them, there is a purple electric crackle, and um, this black and purple orb, this smoky orb, appears in between your hands. I throw my hands away from me. <laughs> his, his, his pupils dilate as far as they can, and he throws his hands away like... Um... Confirmed he's a warlock. <laughs> <laughs> give, me a, give me a damage roll with your blast. <laughs> Guys, I think they know we're here. Uh, I don't say that. It's void energy. It's not loud. <laughs> Sounds like bass. <laughs> Damn. One point. And, um, off in the direction that you were pointing, it hits a wall. Um, strips of the remainder of the paint and everything that's on it, and um, lingers there for a few seconds and when it finally dissipates there is a hole about the size of a basketball 
that you can see clear through the other side. You were about 30 seconds away from doing it to me. <laughs> Shall we continue practicing here or move to that safe location, sir? And after a few moments, um, the ghost is looking around says we should probably leave and you'll hear footsteps splashing off in the distance Lassie looks at the ghost and walks over the ghost looks at um looks back at him I think something hurt us and flies in the direction of Vasio and kind of decon like vanishes as it's flying him into this white light and it's gone <laughs> i see it looks at the other two like uh with an eight on notice can i uh see like where it went to or anything do i have any more insight up to what just happened to it um it kind of looks the same as when it did that white pulse it has the same energy when it um dissipated mm -hmm. but from what you've seen it just went in his direction and vanished and after a few seconds all of you here in your minds. I think something's coming this way. We should be ready. Basio kind of slinks over toward the wall and crouches down while he gets his gun out. I'm gonna make a stealth roll. <laughs> Can I go over to the furthest distance from the door presses back to the wall pull his sniper rifle it's gonna take aim at the entrance um can i use that same notice roll to see if i can like hear which direction things are coming from yeah yeah um so if everyone was looking uh to the south side of the building um, you hear it wrapping around from the north to the west into your direction. And with an eight, uh, can I tell approximately like how many people, things I hear coming? Uh, you just hear a single thing, single pair of footsteps. Um, all right, then I am going to slowly turn around, uh, my shotgun that I have sort of like folded over my arm. I'm gonna close it. Um, I'm gonna point it towards the door and I am gonna slowly start walking towards it. Uh, with an eight two, you can uh, tell that these footsteps, whoever is making them is trying to be quiet. Okay. Um... <laughs> so out loud. Ghost, is there a way for us to talk to each other without talking? I think in game you speak out loud but people can hear you from like through the mind link so I don't think it can be done 
strictly in the mind. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, the ghost says, "Not straight through the mind. You have to say the words in order for others to hear them." Yeah. Well, someone's moving in towards us. They're trying to be sneaky. Keep that scope aimed right over my left shoulder. <laughs> and yes, uh, he's going to stop probably about um, maybe 10 feet or so from like the door uh, and just have the, the gun ready at it. And um, everyone except for Barnes, give me a notice roll. Oh yeah, also Sin, you never gave us our bennies or anything. And I did. <laughs> Both I don't know how to do up. that. <laughs> uh, click on party sheet up at the top and then do um, reset bennies and reset adventure cards. Party sheet top right in the little button there. Okay, you got it already. No, that right. worked. Um, except we're not in the party, so that didn't reset our bennies. <laughs> oh, he never added us to the party. <laughs> oh, got, how do? Uh, drag from the top into the party sheet. Like that. Oh, I think. Did it work? Are we in the party now? Do you have bennies? No. <laughs> No, you gotta so open the party sheet and then draw our draw drag our faces into it. Oh, that's where it goes. Now now we're here. There now we if you go. do it, it'll probably do the thing. Hey, hey, I got stuff. <laughs> yeah, I got Benny's and, and adventure cards. Cool, I can probably close all of this shit now. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you can't. You think you can? You won't be able to. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of shit that I gotta scroll up now. Uh, nine. Okay, so, um, all of you notice this, um, mirror peek in from one of the windows to the right, and it looks like someone is trying to look in without exposing themselves. <laughs> okay, that'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear what the so this is someone peeking in the door um one of the busted windows you see a mirror and it looks like okay. they're trying to look in with it oh, okay um so from the properties of refraction if something is looking in and can see us we should be able to see them from that same angle right mm -hmm. so what do i see i'm assuming i'm the closest one to where this is at yeah, you and Vasio, is that how you say it? Yeah, Vasio. Yeah. Both um see the eyes of a human. Not like um alien or anything, just shaking there, holding the light and not the light, the mirror. Um and, do, I, do I get any sort of gauge about how old they are? 20s to 30s younger side hey ghost we got another person here oh good maybe they have a hideout or something that we can use Yeah. 
I thought you said that there weren't any other humans around here. There's no one else worthy of the gift. At least none that match our signature. Um, kind of like talking out of the side of his face. Like, what do you guys think? Didn't catch that. So, what do you guys think? Can I see what? Because uh, like I'm kind of focused on the doorway. Am I able to see this or not? No, but you've heard everything uh, that I've said. Yeah. Okay. Wait for it, or sir. <laughs> uh, Vasi is gonna. Vasi is gonna stand up out of his hiding spot and just kind of put his gun away. Shrug. Yeah, I'll 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 lower the gun from ready, um, and just kind of look like look in their eyes from the mirror. <laughs> Say, I'm not here to hurt you. We just did a sweep of this building. Where did you come from? It's a long story. And she, like, peeks her head in. Um, does anyone still have their weapons out? Yep. Nope. Just, just your toes. I'm just gonna say, there's two others with me. This, this area is not safe. Let's follow me. And her head backs around the corner and you hear footsteps trailing off. Do we trust her? Are you giving orders to trust her, sir? When, he, when you're saying this, are you saying it to me? Or are you saying it to, like, the ghost? Or are you just saying it? <laughs> it's your character. Okay, because I, like, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't... My character, nor me, have pieced together that this is being directed to me. <laughs> um, and up until this point, we both thought that you were saying this to the ghost? <laughs> um, <laughs> Vasio will shrug and start following after the human while they try to figure out what's happening. Let's see. Well, how much weirder could today get? Hey, he kind of like smacks the the double barrel on his forearm sort of like one of those like bracelets that you would wrap around and just kind of pops it open uh and he just rests it there in an upside down v and then he starts walking after vasio uh gentles will stand up start following still with the gun at the ready <laughs> I think you can at ease for now. <laughs> Puts the gun on his back again. Uh, as he says that, he sort of like pulls his bomber jacket to the side, though, and like 
exposes the sword so it's like easy to grab. Lassio may have put his weapon down, but it's still strapped to his shoulder, like hanging by his side. He's like using his hand to keep it from bumping around too much, but he's not actively carrying it. Mind you, I still do have a large cylindrical device on my back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a small cylindrical device on my on my hip. Oh, G giggity! <laughs> <laughs> Use the light. I think I think yours is a lot uh, does a lot more damage than mine does. True. If you all follow and you catch up to her, um, notice this um, younger, shorter, or darker skinned girl. She looks back at you, bright green eyes, dark hair and like a ponytail, uh, cargo pants, torn up red shirt. And she's just holding like this um, small pistol that looks like it's barely functioning and she has a dagger on her back. I thought you said this area is not safe. Yeah, that's why we scouted it out earlier. And what do you intend on doing? He just motions towards. <laughs> <laughs> she like holds it up like a combat stance. I'm fighting if I have to. Hopefully you don't have to. What was this, what was that noise you guys were making? You're gonna have sound, to be a little bit more specific. It it sounded like a quiet explosion. Um Yeah. Fasio is just going to try to do it again because he doesn't feel like explaining. <laughs> Fasio is just going to take his hand out and throw it to the side uh, and <laughs> see what happens. Hey, give me, give me a, yeah, big thing. <laughs> With a raise. <laughs> so Fasio. Basio does a blast with the rays, just throws to the right where there's nothing there. Just wall. He's just just t pulls his hand up in front of him. It starts to glow purple, and then he just throws it to the side, and the orb flies out, doing three d six damage. If I can find where it is here. So <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna break eye contact. I'm just hearing this go on behind me, seeing the purple light, and I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go. That. <laughs> she like pulls her pistol and aims it at Vazio as she starts backing up. What? What is that? What? What are you? And she's slowly backing away. Um, if she. Is, po is she still like backing away, pointing the pistol? Mm hmm. Um. <laughs> so, uh. I'm going to kind of spring my arm up and close the two halves together and just say. No. We lowered our guns for you. see her hand shaking and sweat starting to form on her brow okay let's get out of here but I'm, I'm not taking you back to my people after seeing that let's I want to ask a few questions and she turns and starts walking around Trying to be sneaky. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, <laughs> I just lean into Vasio like, 
You probably shouldn't do that. Just out in the open. He, he kind of shrugs and then does a little so-so motion with his hand. He's going to kind of turn around and like jog a little bit to catch up to her. So, so what is, what is, where are we? Old Chicago. Did you just get here? In a roundabout way, yes. Not many people look to make shelter in big cities. Our group is trying to gather up our resources to leave. That's exactly what we're trying to do. You came to Chicago to leave? Came implies a choice. I woke up in Chicago. You're an odd group. No argument for me. My name's Jade. And she like looks back. What are yours? Um. Barnes kind of just stops and he like looks back over his shoulder uh, at the other two. Uh, I am Janto, sir. Have you said anything? He clipped you on mute. I'm not on mute. I had my. <laughs> I'm like I thought I unmuted. <laughs> Basio just shrugs and then points at his throat. I guess he don't talk much. My name is. Looks down at the bomber jacket. It's the little patch that's on it. Barnes. That's a fair point. He might actually have something written somewhere. <laughs> actually, considering his gun, he he walks over and holds his gun up, and it, his name is written on the side of his gun. <laughs> <laughs> Walking up with his gun after he just threw an, <laughs> after he just threw a purple blast. I mean, he walks up holding it like sideways, so he walks up holding the gun like this. <laughs> I thought the pistol whips him. <laughs> <laughs> just looks at it and reads it. Lasio. He nods. Yeah, that shit has his name on it. He trademarked that shit. <laughs> Vasio TM. <laughs> <laughs> the gun mark. The gun is trademarked. That's why it's got his name on it. Not, not, not his name. <laughs> we don't see a lot of exos around these parts, and we. Sure, don't see any awoken. So, would I have been around for the awoken? Yes. Okay. 
you probably wouldn't have seen one, but you know that there are like awoken now. Wait, he's an awoken? She like inspects him a little bit closer. Yeah. Pretty healthy one. We got that. Are we typically not? Um <laughs> Vasio is gonna kind of hit um uh uh Jontos's shoulder and then motion at her and give him a nod. <laughs> Sir? Mm. She's like, yeah, no one around these parts are really all that healthy. Uh, j kind of just now really putting two and two together, like, I'm like glossing over looking at everybody. And like, realizing like how remarkable we are all <laughs> given the circumstances. <laughs> So, is there any place that we can safely rest around here? I have my own hideout of sorts that we're walking through right now. In the morning, we can make our way to camp. And why would you trust three random strangers you met in a building to take back to your secret hideout? You all look spotless. I figured you're really well off. And I kind of lost my group in doing our runs, so I'm kind of vulnerable at the moment. I need to take risks. You said we can communicate non-verbally? No, you actually have to say the words, but if like you're in one building and someone else is another, you'll be able to talk to them. Okay. As she says that, it's kind of face palm. Dude. Don't tell the three random strangers that you just met that you're vulnerable. <laughs> like looking down at sh as she walks, there was a fallen scavenger party ran through right before I seen you guys. I needed something. If we haven't made it clear enough already, we mean you no harm. Let's do someplace safe, fill us in on the details, and we'll help you find your friends. Friends, they're probably on their way back to camp already. We'll go to camp in the morning, but Roma's Roma's at my hideout right now. <laughs> like looking at the sky, like. How do you know when it's morning? When you wake up. Sometimes the fog clears, so you get a good tell of the time. Then, when it's not, you just assume. Okay. 
Gonna take out another cigarette and light it. Just holding it in my mouth. And she goes over to one of the collapsed structures and there's one of the windows that looks boarded up and she um, pulls a little metal hatch off and swings open one of the boards to make a little makeshift door and climbs in. Uh, I'm going to stop and kind of take a good look at the surroundings here. Um, does anything look off or do I like notice anybody kind of like out in the distance watching us or anything like that? With a six, um, nothing more than the usual that you've been observing as you walk around. The only thing that's different about this immediate area is if you um, see some of the uh, vehicles or some of the um, exposed metal on the building, you see a lot of the panels and stuff have been uh, stripped away. So like this place looks like it's been more heavily scavenged than where you woke up from. Bad news goes, I don't think we're going to find a ship here. And in your head, no, it looks like the Fallen are done with this area. Gonna walk over to the little makeshift door she made and kind of crouch down and just look inside. And then assuming I don't see anything weird, when I look right in, I'm just gonna go in after her. Um, Jantos is gonna kind of grab your arm before you go in. This does not seem right, sir. Uh, this girl is out here alone. She could be a scout looking to collect survivors or whatever. Lean us into a trap. And being very uh, upfront about being alone and vulnerable doesn't sit right with me. No, I pretty much assume they're walking into something here. But you heard the ghost. We're Humanity's last defense. Do you want to scout around before we go in? Um, I think so. And he's just gonna kind of back off and start taking a look around the surrounding area looking for anything off I guess places for ambushes or anything um how wide of like a path are you taking while you're looking around I'm not sure how wide this area is um so it would, it would be like a normal city street but um right in the middle of it would be one of the um fallen structures one of the other buildings so okay a few hundred feet across from building the building then it looks like this building is probably too high to really climb up on it on your own okay yeah he's just Kind of look around, um, whatever he can scout in like a quick two minutes. <laughs> yeah, it, it, as you're like going around and looking at the, um, uh, the buildings and whatnot, if you stop and take notice to like the fallen structure, like looking towards the top of it or anything, um, if I see you doing that, I'll like, like, pssst. and if you turn around, I'll open my bag up, and I have a grappling hook. Uh, <laughs> pull that out, and I'll just kind of give you a eh. 
nods and then takes the grappling hook. <laughs> yeah, we'll now. Uh, will that be survival? Probably or athletics. athletics? Probably athletics, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you really want to be a dick, you could do like a shooting skill. Or what, what would it be? Yeah, well, no, throwing, throwing. throwing is, yeah, athletics. Yeah, so it'd be just all athletics then, yeah. Yeah, athletics is for throwing and climbing. Okay. Yeah, it um doesn't what go like completely to the top, but you um throw it, it hits one of the windows and snags onto something. All right, he will start uh, trying to ascend up there. Why are my hindrances wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I will fix that. Um, <laughs> as he latches the hook onto the window, um, I'm going to kind of wedge the shotgun between my bag and my back, and I'm going to spin the bazooka around. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to stand at the ready with this fucking thing. <laughs> so I'm just going to have it like, I'm going to have my hand on it like this, and then I'm just going to have my... I'm gonna kind of pull the cigarette out of my mouth, and just kind of flick it to the ground, and then hold it back with both hands. Here's here's a quick question for for our two powers that don't cost any power points. Can we modify those in any way? Like, can we take a negative on the roll to add stuff? Uh, you can't add modifiers to them innately when you um, earn an advancement. If you take the new powers edge and take one of those, you'll be able to add a um, singular modifier to your list of what you can do with them. And it'll still be free? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So instead of picking a new power with our new powers, we can pick a modifier to add on to. Yeah. I might have to take new powers and choose the same modifier twice just to give my grenade <laughs> more range because my smarts is too low. <laughs> Just, just grab more range. Tw uh, my two powers will be range and range for my grenade. <laughs> Fastball. Okay, sorry. Uh, so you heading in, Cliff? No, no, I'm staying there. I'm staying right on okay. the outside. <laughs> uh, and then, okay. like I said, I'm kind of at alert with the bazooka. I do a. Uh, my laundry in the laundry and, and just for just for absurd detail on this thing uh it has iron sights it has like an old um like an old like world war ii era like circular brass iron sights welded to the top of it okay um, Jantos, as you're scaling this um, fallen building, uh, you get to a point where the building on your right, you're able to see the top of it. Mm -hmm. And um, you do notice a, um, not really like a camp spot, but like a area where people would look like they would set up. So don't know people, but looks like the perfect place for. Okay. Um. It's kind of looking like a trap up here. I mean, I don't see anyone, but if it were me, I would definitely set up there. And with us been out here for however long it's taken for this to happen, like, has Jade, like, called out, said anything? Mm. No, but you hear, like, rustling on the inside. Mm. Jantos, you said you were going to scout around for two minutes, then you started climbing, so probably been, like, another... 
two or three afterwards. So, has it been too, too long? <laughs> um, so then, uh, as Janto says it, I'll just say, Um, what are you seeing up there? like a possible position for snipers or ambush sir any way you can get over to it uh send any way to get over to it so like i said the building that you're climbing mm -hmm. is um laid across the street so if you get to the top and walk across along the top you're gonna have to do like a jump but you can probably <laughs> Oh, you got the grappling hook. You got the grappling hook, too. True. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to head up and see if I can get across there, sir. He starts trying to find a way up. So this is Lox, and I'm heading to the zoo right in, like, every now and again, pivoting backwards and uh, looking back at, like, the little makeshift door. Masio, keep an eye on that door. Asio nods at him and kind of pulls his rifle out and and like has it at rest, but is looking kind of casually looking at the door while his his rifle is in his hands, ready to be pulled up if needed. All right, Jan's house. What do you see? You know, roll athletics or something, John. I don't know how you plan on getting over there, or if you just have to shimmy, or yeah. So when I get to the top, is it just like a straight possible jump? When you get to the top and make your way over to that side, um, it, it looks a little bit too far to jump. It looks like you can grapple. Mm -hmm. um, then in your mind, you hear your ghost say, "Oh." You can make that jump. <laughs> you can um, you can channel the light while you jump or move to enhance your abilities. All right, well, let's try it. He starts running. So, do we all hear him say that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, was that? I didn't have that. Was that yes? Did we all hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Vasya's gonna fucking try it. <laughs> he can't see what he can't see what uh, Jedun is doing. Whatever. I keep reading your name. So he's going to jump with the light. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> so if we want to double jump, we got to use the light every time. You have to use the light to enhance your movement. So would that be like a self-support type thing? Mm -hmm. So you rolled a five then. Yeah. So I, I have a D4 on both of those. So that was <laughs> good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you go, you jump, and um, uh. Barnes, are you watching him? Oh, yeah, just... yeah, yeah, definitely. It, it looks like he's not going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... I say... Ghost, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> um, then, um, halfway through, uh, your double jump activates, and what, what does this look like for your character specifically? <laughs> Oh, 100% going hunter double jump. Because <laughs> I think if, since I jump first and then activate it, if I choose the other two, <laughs> <laughs> like he's not gonna make it, but he's not gonna fall. <laughs> yeah, he won't die. <laughs> he just floats down slowly. Yeah. <laughs> More so, his pride is hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you see um 
<laughs> you see Jantos jump as he's about to miss the ledge and start going down. Um, in the air, you see him buckle down, jump a second time, and clear the gap. <laughs> Just like... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's light. <laughs> uh. <laughs> light makes right. It's going to land like, huh. Seems you were correct about the, uh, the light jump. He just kind of just shrugs and then continues investigating the <laughs> <laughs> sniper post. And then your head, you hear, you're all so quick to adapt to the light. Excuse me, are we just going to pretend like that didn't just happen? Are you just going to gloss over that? <laughs> Gloss over what, sir? Oh, what do you see? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to investigate here. Yeah, you see um a few folding chairs, what seems to be like a um campfire that was put out some tracks that lead off to the um, opposite side of the building. So is he on the building that she just went into? No. He's um, on the building to the right. If you're looking at the fallen building. Okay. That's where he's seen the um, So that would be to the left of the building that she's in then? Yeah. If you're looking at the building that she's in, it's to the right. If you look out of the building, it's to the left. Okay. Okay, gonna relay that information. Uh, Vasio, what are you trying to do right now? <laughs> uh, as soon as as soon as he heard in his head that he could try double jumping, he tried double jumping. <laughs> it's just in place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he no, he like kicked off the wall nearby and like aimed his gun at the door he's supposed to be guarding, and just like he's like not tra he just he's just trying to stay in the air longer is what he's doing while he like aims his gun at the door <laughs> so does this look more like a jump than jump or is it like a jump and hover he's a jump then hover yeah it's like he jumps and then he he stops his momentum instead of adding to his momentum Vasio is a hundred percent a warlock Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with his, with his freaking D4 light score and his D4 smarts. I'm just gonna slowly turn and look at him hovering in the air. <laughs> See? Seriously? Okay. <laughs> um... You hear rustling, um, getting closer to the makeshift door. Uh, going back to being on alert, like, just, um, gun not pointing at the door anymore in case it's, you know, Jade coming or something, I don't know, but. Uh, Jantos is going to, uh, use this abandoned sniper position and take aim at the door. Uh, I'm going to instinctively aim the bazooka at the makeshift door. <laughs> Put your laser dot sight. <laughs> <laughs> the um, door, the wooden panels creak to the side and he like pokes your head out and sees the gun the bazooka facing forward <laughs> and she's like what what's going on we're making sure we were followed she like moves some of the wooden prongs in front of her this area is abandoned Honey, this whole city looks abandoned. 
was that noise again? You guys aren't really all that stealthy. You probably just heard us climbing the building to get a better vantage point. She like peeks out her head and like looks up. She gotta take the shot, sir. <laughs> Not just yet. I want to do that quietly if I can, though. Yep, I do. <laughs> It's blaring through the loudspeaker of the ghost. <laughs> Should I take the shot, sir? <laughs> and she like looks over at you, but not yet. Um, I'm gonna like turn around and like motion towards where <laughs> where Janto is and just say we got eyes covering the entrance to make sure no one sneaks up on us is this how you guys always do things? as far back as I can remember <laughs> I have food. And she like slowly <laughs> closes the <laughs> wooden rock. Axos <laughs> even eat? Gento, do you eat? Uh, sir, I could eat, sir. <laughs> Alright, well, do a quick survey of the area, and if nothing catches your eye, Come down and get some food. Yes, sir. <laughs> Starts going around and just continuing to check other areas and be more thorough this time. <laughs> Exos do eat and drink. <laughs> Good to know. Okay. <laughs> Again, I don't know much Destiny lore. Kind of. Do they? They do, yeah. Because that will, that I could have swore I looked it up and they don't. <laughs> they don't eat, they don't drink, and they don't breathe uh, unless they're doing it to mimic like human-like behavior. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Do. Like, it would have to be for the sake of fitting in more so than necessity. Yeah, I, I actually looked that up before I made the character here. Um... Just some of the other stuff, like they don't breathe or cough or any of that. Their mind simply thinks it can. Remember having an actual body, it does so involuntarily. They don't have lungs, they don't take in <laughs> oxygen or exhale carbon dioxide. Okay, it says they're able to. They really need to. Yeah, no, that's that's what I was saying. Like, I think they just do it to mimic like human behavior. There, or possibly because they, you know, like food. Huh? Fucking robots, bro. They, how, do they, they have <laughs> robot taste buds? They're they're a human that got installed into a robot as a life choice. I'm sure that they could have like taste buds in the exo suit. Because it's like, you know, the exo body. Because it's like, I don't know. If I'm getting immortality, I'd still like to be able to taste food. All like, right. the original exos weren't a choice of war. It was it happened during the Golden Age, from what I understand from earlier conversations. So, like, if it happened during, like, Golden Age shit, it happened because somebody wanted to be a robot. And I feel like they probably would have tried to keep their taste buds. 
I see that Heathcliff characters have a pattern. <laughs> hey, that's not, I'm I'm saying that that might be a reason an exo might want to eat. I'm not saying this exo wants to eat. And I will say, I'm not sure about patterns here because Geo is a lot more talkative than Vasio. <laughs> yes, but he appetite wise. <laughs> Yeah, exos are able to eat and drink despite machines and not having stomachs. <laughs> what the? What does that imply? You gotta go just empty gets... out fucking just like a tray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like you ever seen that bottom of the toaster thing? They just have a slot. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> they got a little. They got like little heating coils that toast it all to take the juices out, and then you yeah. just pull out the cremated remains of their food so wasteful <laughs> where are you going gotta go clean out my slot okay, okay. yeah i gotta do number two <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take a number three <laughs> technically it's still sanitary so you know that might be like a delicacy somewhere exo dust <laughs> That's not a kink I'm into. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's 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 a season now. You know, you take the dust out of the Exo's tray and use it to top your food. So the question is, does Jade like Exo dust? <laughs> I don't think she's ever had it. <laughs> she's gonna learn no. today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the question everybody wants to know is how does Janto get down? I think that's the question Jade wants to know. She did say that he was, you know, healthy. <laughs> oh, different type of get down. Got it. Mm. <laughs> I don't think John remembers his character's name is Janto. Oh, that <laughs> <laughs> Take this amnesia thing <laughs> too seriously. <laughs> yep. All right, so what are we doing? How you getting out that building? Uh, you you yeah, staying up I there? Are you getting down? <laughs> about to double jump, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. I, uh, know. I haven't tried any of that shit. <laughs> Slings his sniper rifle. Then he's like, "All right, just gonna do it again." All right, here we go. <laughs> he runs and he jumps and lets himself fall for a long time. And right before he hits the ground, he's gonna try to activate his double jump like he did last time. Just, I just hear like the. <laughs> t -t 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 I turn and look, and I see him jumping. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if it works. Got this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I feel like Got double you. jump. I feel like double uh, jump should get a bonus, so it's easier to do considering how easy it is to activate in game. This is day one, bro. Yeah, I'll push space fair, bar second time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's that athletic roll with the plus one? I uh, still so gotta do athletics. Well, I don't know. It's I guess it's sin's sin's call on that one. <laughs> that was I feel like the, the light so, roll right. was just to activate the double jump. So, yeah, you could you could do all the normal athletic stuff without it, but adding on with the light would be the light roll. So if he didn't <laughs> succeed with this, he would have been able to jump off just fine. <laughs> it's just <laughs> initiating the light would have been the struggle. Come on, come on! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see the second thing the ghost said that he can do. All right, so you're able to double jump. I, I need an athletics roll though to see how fluid this is <laughs> going all the way from the top. Okay, style it. Okay, That's okay. A plus one too, so it'd be a six. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, he's yeah. doing it as an assistance thing, is he? Superhero landing. <laughs> I thought it was just an activation roll. Uh, I mean, be... the, the light assist, the 
athletic roll, right? It, it's both because, like you said, how easy it is to do in game. Yeah. Fair. So you're using the light to do the double jump, then doing that makes the athletic easier. Fair. So can you double jump without the light? Or what happens if you pass your light roll but fail your athletic roll? You're able to do the double jump. <laughs> it may not turn out the best. That's when you... Like, that, that's that's like when you're doing... Trying to jump to one yeah, of those ledges and you, miss, you miscalculate <laughs> when you have to double jump. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're, you're gonna you did the double jump to get to the jumping puzzle, but you failed landing on the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's down again. Like, <laughs> initially, you would have fallen from maybe twenty feet. Now you're falling from twenty five, thirty feet. <laughs> yeah, after like falling for a few seconds, you activate your double jump again and you feel a soft cushion landing and almost springboards you back up in the air a few feet superhero landing <laughs> superhero right. landing right. and right. half of your body is covered in the swamp as you do it <laughs> <laughs> worth it <laughs> But the question is, does he do it stealthfully? <laughs> Splash. <laughs> Bloop. <laughs> All right, she said she has food for us inside. I don't trust her any more than I did. But... Either stand out here all night, or we can go in and risk being assaulted by a girl with a pistol. I'm sure she's not alone in this hideout, but we shall see. Ghost, um. can you like scan to see if there's any other life in here? And um, you see a soft white flash of light come from around where your chest is, and the ghost appears and starts floating forward. I can, but depending on how dense this building is, I may not be able to scan all the way through. Some intel is better than none. And the blue light starts scanning up and down on this building, flickering on and off. And after about a minute of scanning, um, looks back at you. I detected our friend, but one other. Just gonna look down into the hole. Hey, Jade. Who else you got in there? No one. I said everyone left me. Uh, with that, Jantos pulls out that big sword of his. He's like, I'll go in first, sir. <laughs> He's going in with the sword at the ready. <laughs> still, still holding the bazooka. He like... <laughs> <laughs> he like he like goes to like follow behind for a second and stops and like pull it back and I pull out the fallen saber and like Asio has his little <laughs> rifle with the <laughs> Asio just has his rifle ready but he does have that spike on the front. Um. I am going to, like, focus really hard on this fucking sword, like the ghost said, and I'm going to try to make it erupt in arc light, even though I don't know what that means, and even though I am not arc. 
Do a do a light roll. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> so I'm just like staring at it, <laughs> like. And you're solo, right? Yeah. So, you're focusing on this thing, like <laughs> squeezing it, uh, trying to channel your light into it. And you're expecting to see these sparks light up where the wiring is. Uh, but instead, as you squeeze it, you're seeing the metal from the blade start turning redder and redder. And um, a small flame starts um, trickling off of the sword as it's burning this uh, bright orangish, reddish uh, glow. I'm immediately going to look to see if either one of these two noticed this happening. I'm already going in. Look at this shit. Hold on. Hold on. My sword's cooler than yours now. <laughs> oh, yeah. He sees it. I see notices. He's like, well, I see looks over. Looks at his gun contemplatively, <laughs> shakes his head. <laughs> just, just with a, a sense of false confidence at this point, I'm just going to look at him and nod. <laughs> and I'm going to pull out a cigarette. I'm going to light it off of the blade. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just going to walk in with the confidence of a man with a fucking military behind him. <laughs> Everyone's walking in. Yeah, Vasi was trying to find out something cool to do. <laughs> <laughs> you already burned a hole in a wall. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you had duking twice. Blast open the door. <laughs> and I did. Ho I did hover aim. So now you've done more with the light than anyone. Already. <laughs> right. That was something cool. <laughs> do show me up. <laughs> All I got is this fucking. Uh, by the way, it's in the the gun I paid for. I, I paid for an AK-47 and a bayonet, mm -hmm. but like figuring since I came from the golden age, it's probably some other. You know, I'm using those stats, but it's it's something. You know, it looks sleeker than that, especially that, since I trademark weaponed it. That sounds like a Monte Carlo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, do. Right, I'm following along. Also, I didn't realize we could trademark weapon. <laughs> kind of feel a little bit jaded now. <laughs> trademark weapon is a novice edge. It is? Yeah. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> I got that plus one on my AK-47. Noted. Whatever it is. <laughs> About to have a gold bazooka soon. <laughs> gold. <laughs> Imagine a golden gun with a fucking bazooka. <laughs> Although technically trademark weapon doesn't do anything special to the weapon, it just makes you better with that one specific weapon. But it gives like, you like plus one parry, I think. Yeah, it gives you plus one parry with it in hand and it gives you a uh it gives you um plus one to the attack rolls with that weapon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but in lore, doesn't it make it like where that weapon is like, that's your weapon. Like, there's there's something mm -hmm. special about that shit. Oh, I mean, I don't know about Destiny lore. I'm just saying No, no, no. I'm saying in, in Suede. Isn't that like the thing behind Trademark Weapon? No, Trademark Weapon is you're just super confident and used to that weapon. Like, literally, if you lose the weapon, you can trademark a different weapon just by training with it and using it extensively for like a week. Hmm. So, it's Jantos, then Barnes, then Vasio. Yep. And Jantos has his big ass sword. Yep. yep. Alright, and you walk in, there's like this initial room with just a bunch of um, garbage and stuff laying in the entrance. But there seems to be a path cleared out to the left, and when you start walking 
along this path. Um, you make it further into this um, toppled building and you eventually see a light down the hallway. And when you uh, enter this room, you see her sitting there on these wooden um, step stools, a metal fold-out table off in the corner with some um, food uh, cooking on a pot and a few just mats laid out on the floor and when she sees you she like kind of stands up and reaches for the knife on her back I said it was safe in here Yeah, I heard what you said. I'm going to need you to relax your arm. And he takes a step closer. His eyes just trained on her. And as you're getting closer, here the next one to enter would be Barnes with his glowing sword. <laughs> that, and you know that motherfucker's on display, too. Like. <laughs> uh... I'm Last year is gonna try to stick to the shadows. Uh, I'm gonna step in and, and just kind of like look at her. And... You should probably listen to him. If you don't know of the other person that's in here, then someone else is hiding in here with you. And I'm just gonna immediately just start with like walking around, like looking. Like, I feel like if, if, if Janto is, like, right there by her, like, I'm not, she's not a threat to me in my eyes. She may be the most badass <laughs> person in the world, but she's got a knife and a pistol. She's not a threat to me. Um, she doesn't have a flaming sword. Exactly. So, me and my flaming sword are just going to be walking around, like, looking for, um, like, so inside this room, are there any other adjacent rooms or halls or anything? Um... There's other uh, adjacent rooms, one to the right before you turn left into where she's at right now, and one across um, from where she's at from where you entered this room. Well, I'm already in the room, and, I said, so I'm just going to go to that one. Yeah. Okay. Um, you try the door and it's locked. I'm just going to motion my head over to this. Is your bedroom or something? I haven't been able to get it open. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, wh why am I Wait. covered? Wait, why am I covered all of a sudden? Yeah, why are you encumbered? You're carrying a lot. Yeah, but I was at capacity i'm at 40 of 40 the sword the sword yeah Did i'm at 40 more? of 40 i should be good my load limit is 40 and my total carry is 40 so i shouldn't be encumbered at all so that that should technically be a five yeah that first roll you did would have been a success then you would have needed the bennies No, the first one was still a three. It went down to a one. Yeah, yeah, so I still needed to spend the bennies, but that last one should be correct. Oh, yeah, yeah you're right. It, and technically speaking, it should be even less than that because technically right now, Janto has my grappling hook. Yeah. So technically my shit should actually be <laughs> at 38. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So anyways, so... uh. Uh, as soon as she says she hasn't been able to um, get it open, I am going to take my flaming sword and I am just going to hit the door handle with it. Just the most dramatic thing that you could possibly do. Sword breaks. <laughs> and then I'm just going to kick the door open afterwards. Okay, FYI. Um, if you are over 40 at all, it will encumber you. However, the system rounds to the nearest number. So if your weight is 40, you're fine. If your weight is 40.2, 
it will still show 40, but you will be over encumbered because you're at 40.2. Okay. Well, either I way, just, I'm at 38 technically now. <laughs> okay. I just did some testing, so that's probably what was happening. You had something that was a partial I, yeah, pound. It's, it's probably the stun gun because it's a half a pound. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have a grappling hook, so it's fine. Yeah, he took off that grappling okay. hook. like, oh. No, I was just explaining for future reference because when you get the grappling hook back, you're probably at like 40 point something, so. 40.5, I assume. All right, you um, smashed his door open. You hear a grunt, and when the um, debris kicks down, you see someone that has just fallen on their back. Um, a grunt and a fallen? Um, they're <laughs> like uh, scrambling on the floor to pick up a shotgun that they dropped. Um, do I get a chance to do anything here, or? Yeah, yeah, I, I rolled for this guy. And he, <laughs> he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, unless I hear anything otherwise, um, as soon as I see this guy, she said no one else is here, hasn't been able to get in this door, Mm -hmm. I see a dude scrambling to grab a shotgun. I am taking the sword in like the same motion that I hit it with, right in that same follow through, and I'm gonna strike down this flaming sword on this guy scrambling to get this door open. Or, or sorry, trying to get his gun. And it's just gonna be like a. That's all you're gonna hear. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> as you strike the door, you um hear her real quick be like no don't and she like reaches um for her knife i'm taking a swing <laughs> <laughs> she done fucked up <laughs> <laughs> um uh can you roll an agility roll for her Got random characters set up, so I'm just gonna do this. Let's roll a die. What did I roll twice? Don't you know every everyone that we encounter should have a stat block just in case? The That's... one that you don't stat is the one we'll <laughs> Uh-huh. So is that a five? Is the first roll? I don't know. <laughs> How does that work when you roll twice? Is she considered rolling. a wild die? No. Then you should only roll once anyways for her. Uh, so you, you rolled a five and a one so the first one would be a five um and what did we determine on that defenders win uh depends on what you're doing um if it's an opposed role then it, then the first person is setting the the target number and the second person is trying to meet it so so what i my my thoughts are here is if she says no wait in time for me to be able to process this before I follow through with the swing, I'm gonna halt the blade. Um, but if she's, you know, we're talking about, you know, how much time does it take to swing a fucking sword? Fraction, fraction of a second, maybe a second. Um, if she uh, is I would, off even I would, a little bit, I I would say you need a four or less then for for you. Well, I if, said if, I said it at five. Oh, okay. Because if you, because uh, oh yeah, you're, you're going through with the action, like, and she's trying to interrupt you. Yeah, pretty much. What, yeah. what you're talking about sounds like the agility roll off to see who goes on an initiative when someone tries to come off hold. Yeah. Which that one specifically says that ties happen simultaneously, like you both say your actions, and the GM narrates how they happen at the same time. Okay, I'm mm. swinging the sword at this motherfucker then. Um, boo, 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 boo. Uh, so that is a nine, uh, to my attack, which means, uh, what is this character on the grounds? Uh, Perry? You, 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 uh, got a raise. Okay. Um, so because the fact that my sword is imbued with light do i get any bonus damage to this attack what is your um uh, i can see this real quick your sword's damage uh 2d6 and the melee skill is 2d6 what are you looking for 
Um, I was going to say you can use whichever of the damages is higher. But they're both the same. <laughs> well, the light doesn't even, like add anything extra to it. Uh, it would be considered like a um, like a melee attack with it, like with the light instead. Um, but if you're imbuing the sword with it, uh, I'll give you a plus two to the damage. I'll take Sounds it. like smite. Mm -hmm. Improvised smite. Oh my god! Sixteen. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so i strike down and then as soon as the i as soon as the the of the sear of this blade hits whatever uh flesh of this 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 person that's there uh it it then clicks of her saying no wait um at cliff yeah what about your raised eye <laughs> oh yeah, it didn't raise it. Didn't do it with the raise, did it? Oh, yeah, because you weren't you weren't fighting against somebody in there. Right, there we go. Oh, Twenty-one. 21. Twenty-one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, he he yeah he's dead. Uh, <laughs> just immediately, I'm gonna say. I thought you said no one else was in here. Hey? I, I'm already swinging, by the way. <laughs> yeah, she's going for a weapon, and he started swinging. Yeah. On a uh, agility roll of eleven. Yeah, yeah, you you beat you beat her. <laughs> <laughs> you killed her before I killed him. Uh, that, that's a nine hit. That's a raise. <laughs> uh, so we'll do that. Don't forget to add that d six. And the uh, would it be a d six or another d eight? No, it's a D6, D6 for any raise and damage. Yeah. Unless uh, you have okay. a special edge that says otherwise. Nah. Wow. <laughs> so, 16. 16. <laughs> hey, it's as much as Cliff did before his race. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah that's... Bigger, but mine's, uh, mine's flaming. It's, it's true. <laughs> So, <laughs> while she's reaching towards um, Barnes, about to pull out this knife, she gets struck down before being able to do anything <laughs> by Jantos. And she, like, hits the floor, looks over to you as she's, um, like, as you're um, coming through with your sword. And before really even <laughs> able to say anything else, you just see the um light fade from her eyes um is she dead dead or do i have a chance to maybe run over and stop her from dying because i do have healing as a skill bro she's been returned to orbit <laughs> <laughs> you, you you can you can attempt to save her <laughs> Um, it's, it's not good with a <laughs> team of laughs while uh, so, so before I, instinctively that's what I want to do um, it looks bad so <laughs> let, me, let me do this real quick um, okay well, oh, nice shit. okay <laughs> oh so, shit so I want to see who I just slew <laughs> and <laughs> kind of pan over to watch what just happened here um like oh, you just took a peek at the stream <laughs> in a in a in a split second like can i infer like what the fuck is going on like who this person is versus who she is like can i make interactions um, or looking at the um carterized corpse that you <laughs> just yeah, yeah, cut yeah. down <laughs> uh this this guy seems um a lot older um probably like uh early 50s um he's dressed in like all black has actual pieces of um armor strapped onto him um his weapon 
looks like it's actually seen use and it doesn't really seem like he belongs here all right and then i'm not gonna try healing her but <laughs> i am gonna turn around and still say i thought you said that no one else was here now look what you did look what you did <laughs> So weird with that filter on. And yeah, then no, <laughs> look what you did. Look what you did. <laughs> and then I'm gonna. Yeah, it sounds I'm like, gonna, like a Mario saying. I'm gonna walk <laughs> over and I'm gonna pull out one of the chairs and I'm just gonna sit down with the cigarette still in my mouth. <laughs> uh. <laughs> How do I? live without you <laughs> so, um this area that you guys are in has been raised off the ground a little bit from this like it's it's a slanted room that you're in uh slightly and it's raised above the water level so there's no uh swamp in this immediate area but the blood from her <laughs> uh what's her name jade um i've already is, forgotten <laughs> well, I don't need to remember anymore. <laughs> it's starting to pull up in the um, bottom area of the room. And as you're looking around uh, behind the table where the um, food is still cooking, you guys spot a map. And there is a white dot that um, indicates where you guys are. There's these large black um, marks on the map that look like paths. And to the right of the map written on it, you can see something um, scribbled on the side that says Fallen travel routes and there's a blue mark in the center of the map and next to that you say uh, you see scribbled on a fallen nest and do we see and the purple dot <laughs> the purple dot is where you guys just started for your point of reference where you awoke okay um so like <clears throat> i'm not paying any attention to this piece um i jeez are you, are you double jumping again <laughs> yeah vasio is vasio is from where he was hiding in the shadows at the door he tries to do a a jump like kind of low to the ground jump and then glide over to l look at what you guys are looking at at the table <laughs> <laughs> um, just, I just love lightly it. Lightly sets down at the end and kind of just lightly sets down next to the table and then crouches over to look at the map you're looking at. So, uh, so I'm not looking at the map. I sat down uh, in a chair. I'm basically looking at the door we just came out of. So I just got perfect view of fucking <laughs> Jesus floating into the room. Um, <laughs> but uh, like almost like without breaking beat of it, um, I sit down and I'm just like. Right, Jato, are you hungry? Well, he's like wiping the blood off on her corpse. He's like, that's assuming she didn't poison it. In your guys' heads. Even if she did, I would be able to bring you back. A meal is a meal. Oh, yes. Immortal. Guess how we eat. Looks around for a plate. Yeah, there's a pile of random dishes and utensils off in the corner. Right, he's gonna grab one and start helping himself. Um, I'm gonna get up and start looking around. Uh, at this point, I probably noticed the map. Um. 
and kind of like could you often set it down next to him <laughs> Sajato's clade just kind of like tap it um, and then continue looking around the area I, you said that in this immediate area that was the only way back out where we just came from there was another path yeah and you're talking in your exo voice <laughs> yes I was uh, I was narrating that all out loud um so uh so i'm gonna put the map down kind of point to it um and then i'm going to uh nudge um uh uh, uh well, i can't think of your name now mute boy uh vasio vasio uh, I'm gonna nudge Vasio and uh, I'm just gonna kind of motion towards where we just came from um, and I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go that other path that we didn't take I'll follow right. him um, the other path leads into a similar room like the one you're in um, nothing really stands out in this area um some clothes blankets sheets and stuff like that and on the opposite side of where uh, would be the room that you killed the guy in like this room's equivalent to that side there's another closed door uh is it locked too this one is not all right i'm just gonna open it kind of like just push it open and like uh, at, at this point, I'd have my uh, my sword uh, tucked back in and, and kind of have the shotgun out and kind of like push the door with it and just sort of pivot. And um, nothing in here, no light to really illuminate, but you see a few boxes. Oops, can I borrow that light? Again, it emerges from you, goes next to your shoulder, and starts flashing the light. All right. And uh, is there anything written on the boxes or anything that catches my eye? Um, nothing written. There's um, four boxes, two of them stacked up in one corner, one to the left and one to the right of those. And the one on the right is um, opened up. And in that one, when you look inside you can see like um just various foods like some um really badly skinned meat uh herbs and stuff like that just all piled into the same container <laughs> just gonna look back that's not sanitary Um, if nothing really catches my eye, I'll come back out, kind of survey around the, the room a little bit before leaving, and then just head back over to uh, where Janto is. Um, yeah, the only thing in these rooms is really, like, living supplies. It looked like it was what she said, like, her own hideout with her own storage and stuff. Yeah, she was storing some dude in there and got him fucked up. Her bad. <laughs> <laughs> Store better shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to head back in the room with Janto and basically say, all right. <clears throat> Nothing else in here that I could see. But she lied to us about having someone else in here. Who knows when she was telling the truth about her friends? Eat up. Let's take the map with us. We need to get out of here. Just in case someone swings by. Agreed, sir. He starts double time eating. <laughs> <laughs> I said uh, the other guy looked more like readied and actually had weapons that looked decent, right? Uh, he had a um, single weapon that looked like it was um, Seen used. constantly being yeah being used. Yeah, uh, gonna start like while he's eating, Vasya's gonna go over and start going through his pockets and shit. 
Um, nothing really in like his pockets certain, besides like, like certain, oh, go ahead, sorry. Uh, besides like ammunition for the weapon. But the jacket. Besides the um, inability to zip it up now, <laughs> it's a pretty sturdy leather jacket, and the um, gun is a sawn-off shotgun that he dropped. Does his sawed-off shotgun Last look years. nicer than my sawed-off shotgun? It does not. Not at all. <laughs> Perfect. Like, rusted and <laughs> duct tape. I made the right choice. Vasio is gonna take the shotgun and and some of the ammo for it. Just start shoving the shotgun ammo in his pockets and grab the shotgun. He's not gonna search the chick. The chick's all bloody. This one was cauterized, so clean cut. <laughs> um, and is there anything else in this room like that's noteworthy? Um, bedding area, like an actual bed. The mattress is hard, but it's a bed. Look, <laughs> clothes and stuff, and um, a nearby uh, a wardrobe. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to do a quick survey, look inside, and then uh, I'm going to sit back in that chair that I was sitting in before. Um, and the intent is to be able to look like down the hall where we came from. And if I have to move the chair to get a vantage point to basically see like down to where that makeshift hatch is, um, I'm going to sit like that while I'm waiting for Jonto, and I'm just going to have uh, the shotgun sort of like in my lap, like resting. And everyone in your heads here. Well, she wasn't lying about this place being picked clear. The fallen doesn't don't seem to have been frequenting this area. This may be a good spot to set up. We already know there's a sniper position that one of you can take. I'm on it. Do what exactly? It just gonna reach Air. over and like put my hand on your shoulder so you don't get up after you say I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare for travel. And how are we gonna do that? She left us a route of fallen paths and the location of their nest. They have pikes that they ride around on to move faster. Or if any of you know how to fly a ship, it might be more risky, but we can go for the nest. Depending on if we get an advancement at the end of this, I know how to fly a ship. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Vasio holds up his hand, raises his hand. We have a pilot. He nods. All right, Ghost. What kind of threats do we face in this area? Only thing we've seen around here are low level fallen, not really tied to any house. Maybe one or two captains running the area, along with their dragon vandals, maybe a shank and a single servitor to provide them ether. But the closer we get to the nest, the more unified they're going to be groups of many captains the large ones nine ten foot four armed ones lots of dregs lots of snipers on top of the buildings 
and their shank bots. Some of them will accompany the snipers, some of them will rush you with explosives. Aggress to about twenty percent of what you just told me. And out of everything that you just said, I see no reason we should stay here. We should make our way closer. Whatever you choose to do, I'm with you. I'm gonna look over, see if I get confirmation from anybody. Um, Fasio just shrugs and just kind of motions at you. With you, sir. I'm going to grab the apple that's sitting on the table. <laughs> I'm going to pick it up, take a bite out of it, and say, Let's go find us a ship. And then I'm going to throw the just one bite out of the apple, just throw it over my shoulder, and then just <laughs> walk, walk into the hallway towards the makeshift door. And... As you swing open the door, uh, you can tell that the light that was cutting through some of the fog has all gone away, and it is uh, all but pitch black out here. Um, the fog obscuring the uh, low visibility that you already have, and you hear nothing but the sounds of frogs, insects, and the occasional splash of water underneath something's but off in the distance. And that's where we're going to end it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> but we didn't start till like 9.30. We could probably go till like 1.30, right? That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, this was good. I enjoyed this. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, this was fun. I don't, I don't get to be the player ever, so... <laughs> I, I I wasn't a hundred percent sure about my hindrance choices, but I thought since there was you know, chances was just a one shot, and even if it did, I thought I'd give it a try, but that was more fun than I thought it'd be. Yeah, I've uh, it's gonna be interesting incorporating some of the um, actual dangerous parts of Destiny into this because <laughs> I like if you're not doing the dangerous stuff. I want you guys to like do this. Like, as a normal human, they didn't stand a fucking chance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she fucked up. I would, yeah. <laughs> See, like, like Barnes's head was in the space of like, all right. I I don't know what the fuck just happened. I was just brought back here. This thing is talking to me. I watched it bring two other people back. So clearly. It can do what it say it, it, it says it's doing, so right. I'm just like kind of blindly following this thing, um, and he said, you know, we're like the saviors of humanity. So I'm sitting here thinking, like, you know, this person said that they're vulnerable and that they're alone, and like every part of him is saying there's something wrong with it. But then I got this little the ghost saying like, hey, hey, man, you gotta save this person. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I'm just going to go off that notion. Like, this person needs to be saved. We need to reunite them. And it's like, red flag, red flag, red flag. I'm like, hey, hey, lady. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, so what, what, was she completely innocent in? Not completely. <laughs> Good enough. She she could she could have been an ally. She could have turned on you. It, like in apocalypse. Ah, murder justified. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Now, now she's gonna be one of the red ghosts that linger around Jonto when the nightmares come. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys' first murder. You're like two thousand years in the future. She's gonna be hovering over you. Well, who the fuck are you? <laughs> you don't remember me? You killed me, like bro. You can't be way more specific. 
killed a lot of people in these last 2,000 years, bro. <laughs> no, 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 Any Chanto, idea Chanto. how vague that is? Chanto, that's, that's the one that wanted you to stick your sword in her, but you chose the wrong sword. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she chose the wrong sword. I don't know. <laughs> Could have had this flaming one. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, that's fun. I gotta put I... my freaking light level up. This shit, he's pulling. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Can't double jump without light. Fucking, I'm done. I'm gonna. <laughs> I got a fucking four, bro. <laughs> I do too. I do too. I I put mine was at six until like right before we started. I I. I uh, I dropped it to a four to put something else up because I had it at six for the for most my character creation. And I had like, it at right an eight. We started. I had it at an eight and swapped it all around because I now have a D twelve <laughs> in shooting. Mm. <laughs> Damn, you got a good shooting. My my shooting's only D eight, but D twelve yeah. in shooting and I got a fucking bazooka. I didn't go twelve <laughs> in nothing. I was going to be the face, but then I was like, I haven't played a sniper yet. <laughs> We're playing a sniper now. Well, so, like, <laughs> y'all asking, you, you asked who the face is, and then, meanwhile, I'm thinking, dude, I took the fucking mute hindrance. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, so I, I totally expected John to be the face after he said that. Um, so, I was, my intention was going to be to be the face of the group. Um, so I was going to spec out towards being, um, Awoken. I think it was the one that starts with the persuasion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was going to, I was going to actually do Awoken and I was basically going to build like a snobby ass, like instead of being more about combat, be more about like the lore of it all, like a, like a warlock. Um, and like, that was my initial one. And then John was like, well, if no one else is going to be the face, then. I was like, all right, so John's going to do it. So I respect my shit all together. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to go full Titan. Like, <laughs> I'm going to be full so Titan. So we got a Hunter, a Titan, and a Warlock yeah, already. We, we, or, we organically got the three classes. Um, so that, that was my thing is as soon as he said that, I was like, all right, I'm going to go full Titan then. And um, I went into shooting and fighting are pretty much all I do and then notice. Um, and... Then I started thinking about like what my uh, what my element was, so I built everything around solar. So like the bazooka, um, the fact that he's always smoking, but like he doesn't actually have lungs, he doesn't have air, so he can't drag the cigarette. So he just <laughs> lets it sit there and burn down. Um, the, the funny part is I I built like Hunter, <laughs> like this, my <laughs> stats are like I'm built like a hunter. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're a warlock, bro. Full warlock. <laughs> you're throwing your punches and fucking floating. <laughs> yeah, full warlock. Which means that now I gotta fucking I gotta talk about my Titan jump when I jump. I'm gonna be all embarrassed. Y'all got cool shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, <laughs> like oh. <laughs> So I got a D6 and piloting. <laughs> like, go something, my working right. <laughs> like, <laughs> the ghost could be all hyping me up. No, you're perfect. Like, <laughs> working as intended, Guardian. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need you to. I'm gonna need you to tweak those uh, AI voices until you can get that Zavala voice working. I'm gonna need Zavala <laughs> as an NPC in this. Yeah, Zavala's just gonna be your ghost. <laughs> <laughs> He got promoted to a body <laughs> later on. <laughs> like, you're a good ghost. Take this body on. Like, I don't even know how that works, but I'm going to do it. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Close out the stream. Yeah, let's do that. Um, who we going to raid out to see if anybody's on? It's so weird being so hands off with this shit, man. <laughs> I I'm over here like, that. what do I look at? What do I look at? They're doing this. Let me go over here. They're doing this. Let me go back over here. <laughs> what do? <laughs> they killed her. Let me cross this off. <laughs> <laughs> it's three pages of lore I had for her. Yeah, fuck that. 
I'm just left it all like, vague. Yes. <laughs> Feel <laughs> my pain. <laughs> left it all vague. I was like, this could go one or two ways. If it does, that affects this. <laughs> Yo, I was 100% just about to raid out to a destiny stream i like search for destiny at first and i'm like (laughs) maybe that's not the right approach kind of and like we were just playing destiny on our tabletop yeah uh let's raid out to gamers ledge or gamer sledge who knows what it means it's one or the other uh, they're also doing Savage Worlds, though. Um, so we'll do that. Yeah. Uh, which you don't see very many Savage Worlds people, so. True. Uh, let's go there. So, uh. Yeah, thanks f- over here. Come here. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. My cat's being a butt. It'd be like that. Cat butt. Cat butt. <laughs>